How's it going everyone? Jubita here with a community spotlight on the Regen Consortium. This is a kind of farming network hub type thing and it from the sounds of it and what I've seen it's actually a really amazing collection of builds. So uh, I guess without a further ado let's get down to business. So I'm on the Portal Seeker Batulia Hub, if you're not familiar. So Gravitas Tay is over here. There's Lambalus, and it connects directly to this hub. It also connects to a lot of other places, but it's right back behind here on this, uh, basically a city portal. And I'll show you how to get to here from the Ultima Guild here in a second. But here is the Portal Seeker Batulia Hub. And then over here is Ultima, so. Wait for the portal to load. So this is actually the Meteor Meat location. And then right out here, there's the Dark Tower. Uh, the big, whatever that's supposed to be, kind of, it reminds me of a soldier. Uh, clock Tower is over there. And yeah, so right over here, the Meteor Meat right there. And then this nice gold sign, Region Consortium. So pop through here and so this is literally the only part of this I've already seen in oh my goodness just look at this so from my understanding or what I've been told is that this is kind of modeled like uh, like an abandoned factory that's being reclaimed by nature so we have this pretty awesome kind of like dilapidated fountain that's being overgrown with vines and just like look at all this Rosetta Knox and all the grass they actually requested that I turn up the the foliage quality detail because yeah this place looks amazing when you turn that back up I actually prefer to have it up higher but I uh, usually end up turning it down just so I can farm a little bit easier but uh, looks like most of the actual farms are over in this general area but right off yeah right here we have some signs that kind of give you an outline of where you can go to get certain things. So we can go to Circapus to get glossy starberries, fibrous leaves, uh, Bezavrona for pulsating orbs and bark. We can go to Flan for mud, exotic waxy earth yams, uh, Alcyon for ash, sulfur, cobalt fragments, and let's see here, Gallon for shimmering orbs. Malorial like crib for sand, oil vine, cobalt fragments, and then Hochus One. Uh, not exactly sure. I guess that's Hochus One is only for gleam, and then Norkina is for juicy starberries, inky leaves, fibrous leaves, and shadow orbs. So, <laughs> very, very nice. Got all sorts of things, and I think there's even, or there's like low level farms over here. So we got our peaty soil, clay, uh, starberry farm. Let's see here. All our biodomes are connected to the uh, planet's gleam via code gleam. So they also are connected to code gleam over here, which looks like I haven't actually checked on this in quite some time. It kind of like died and then it was resurrected. So yeah, if you're interested in some gleam. You also have easy access to all the gleam farms as well. So I guess we can start off with maybe these three lower tier farms and just kind of see what happens. And before we run off and check out all the farming locations, I'm forgetting to actually show off this amazing factory over here where there's uh, player portals actually available. And uh, yeah, very nice. So we've literally got the, like the trees breaking through this uh, dilapidated factory here. Little overrun with spitters at the moment, but uh, already have quite a few player portals, <laughs> including my own. And uh, very nice. So you got like this roof that's like all kind of caving in. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like all the god rays shining through the, the cracks and crevices there. Very nice. And uh, yeah, so these trees are natural from my understanding and just it's, I don't know, quite impressive how they're just seamlessly incorporated. Not to mention we have these wonderfully built or handcrafted trees right here with the green leaves and uh, very, very impressive. Let's actually jump up here and check out some of this because there's actually quite a bit of detail up here that you don't really get to appreciate. Yeah, it's like, uh, 
Got some little kind of windows up here, so very nice. Okay, what does that say? Shovel, damage, <laughs> one hit minimum, 800. Okay, so if you do 800 damage, uh, you can one hit the soil. So that's actually really nice. So if you're forging or looking at the to buy a shovel, okay, there we go. I can read it a lot better like that. Uh, you kind of know what to aim for. So they've been working on this hub for apparently about three months now. Most of the work has, of course, been in the last month, but uh, all the, the planning and logistics and everything has been the preceding two months. So they've uh, tried their hardest to find really good farming locations. This looks like an excellent place. I mean, just look at this. We got a nice uh, three by three chunk of dirt to you know, just have at it basically. And, you know, of course, once you're done with the farm, be sure to throw a regen bomb and regenerate it. So, gotta, oh, we could actually like get out there. That's interesting. So very nice. Let's check out, there we go. Yeah, please regen before leaving. And let's see here, got a clay farm here. Emma. There we go. So again, 800 damage. One hit minimum, and very nice. So it looks like, ooh, okay, this one actually has a trap door there, so you can get out and in from the inside. That's one of my kind of pet peeves, is some of the farms that I've seen out in the wild, like, oh, I'm just heading towards the nearest portal, and I get there, and then, like, it's completely locked, and you can't actually get inside. It's like, I just want to use the portal. So, uh... Very nice. It's, I love how you can like walk around these. So like you break through and you have at least a little bit of warning before you start hitting a protected wall. So very nice. And let's see here. So we have one more uh, farm, Starberry Farm. Let's see what this is. Ooh, look at all of these leaves. So this is actually on what, Raxa? Very nice. Kind of curious where this is. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I thought it was like, is this out in the middle of the water or something? So, very nice. So yeah, grab your AOE tools and regeneration bombs, maybe a persisting pie, and you can just go to town on this stuff. Lots of leaves, not to mention the starberries, and I think, maybe, I don't know. I can't remember if you get fibrous leaves on this low of level of planet, but, uh, since it's labeled as Starberry, I'm gonna guess maybe not so much. Let's see here. So there's Code Gleam. So this looks like it's going to lead to all the higher tier planets. Okay, I see. They kept throwing around the, the term like Biosphere or something like that. So I guess uh, we're gonna have kind of some sphere type little mini hubs. So this goes where exactly? We're going to Delta Cancrit. Very nice. So yeah, at that very first um, area, there was the signs that kind of gave you a rundown of what exactly you can get at these places. I think what this would be the, I don't know, the, the green berries, is it the glossy? Yeah, I think it's the glossy because the juicy are purple. So I think this is fibrous leaves and the, the green berries are the glossy. And it looks like they even have, ooh, 8,000 for, Very nice. Okay, so that doesn't have any extra damage forged on it, it looks like. Well, I don't know. I don't have any of the axe skills on this particular character. I don't think that would really... Yeah, it wouldn't affect the forge effect, but... Uh, so, very nice. You could use... Or uh, come here and kind of stock up. Ooh, yeah, we've got everything you need. Assisting pies. Assuming these are regen bombs. Very nice. Regen bombs and even, uh, ooh, mega strength and speed brew. So if you can't do quite enough damage, you can pick up a strength brew. Or if you do do enough damage, you can pick up a speed brew and <laughs> go super fast. Because these things, 100% extra speed. There is kind of like a, a maximum action speed. So if you're already using a really fast tool, you can cap out your speed. But certainly using a diamond tool, I don't think you're really are uh, in any danger of actually doing that. And I'm guessing, yeah, Hot Magenta. So this is going to be Code Gleam. Yeah, Code Gleam uh, farming location. So again, come with uh, maybe an AOE tool, regeneration bomb, and 
Let's see here, is this fully regenerated? Kind of looks like... Okay, yeah, it is. And uh, what else do we have here? Okay, very nice. Let's see about... Okay, so this goes to Bezo Verona. Okay, oh, okay, I get it now. So we got, uh, I guess this is going to be some kind of like tree farm, maybe a, a sponge farm right there. Uh, we got the gleam right here. I guess a sign would be kind of nice, but uh, once you kind of figure the, the portal frames out, I guess it's kind of self-explanatory. Ooh, okay, I can see what we got going on here. So yeah, you just take your AoE axe and <laughs> basically chop down, throw a bomb, and it should pop you right back up here. And uh, make sure it is fully regenerated. Very nice. So tier 5 planet, yeah, you should get plenty of bark, sap, and uh, of course tree trunks here. Got a sign... Okay, here we go. Axe minimum damage 4,000. So, very nice. Yeah, I've uh, been using a basically a damage calculator that uh, one of my patrons shared with me to try to figure all this stuff out. So it's really nice that that's just posted and you don't have to uh, uh, guess. Oh, nice. We even have, like, um, of course, the tier of the planet right here, but then also how much protection you actually need there. Here. Okay, that was just the gleam. Oh, we didn't. I knew I was forgetting something, so let's check out what I'm assuming is going to be sponge. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, <laughs> let's see here. Where's a, a shovel? Is this? This doesn't look like it's fully regenerated. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so sponge. I'm honestly, what? Is it vital orbs or. Or is it pulsating orbs? Seems like a couple of things. Like, I know the thorns drop the vital orbs and uh, something else drops vital orbs, but... There's also another amusing thing. Like, I didn't even realize you could go to high-level planets and get inky leaves off of foliage. I mean, it sounds vaguely familiar, but uh, yeah, I just, like never really occurred to me to do that to actually get inky leaves. I think I tried it once yeah, I went to Alcyon to try to get uh, fibrous leaves and just wasn't really impressed. Let's see here. Which direction? Yeah, we're going this way, so. And it looks like we're going to have a mud farm right here. Oh! Durr. Okay, so we got the storage block showing you exactly what you're going to get. So mud, waxy, and exotic earth yams. Ah ha Okay, so yeah, pulsating orbs and sponge. And of course, tree trunks, uh, sap, and bark. Okay, so I'm slowly getting there. It's uh, <laughs> it's like all staring me in the face, but uh, you know, this is literally the first time I'm seeing it, so I'm literally learning this at the same time you all are. So I've got a, I'm assuming? Yeah, we're on code gleam. Is this probably not regenerated? Uh, there we go, okay, very nice. And this is bright blue, according to the compass, at least. It's actually a very nice color. I might have to come get some of this. And it looks like that's the rest of Code Gleam right there. And let's check out this mud farm. See, I think I've been using the one on the Fireborn network, and I was pretty impressed with that, but I was kind of uh, promised that this one... Yeah, this is actually really nice. Let's see, here's that. There we go. Very nice. So yeah, the, the one on Fireborn is like all underwater, and if you're not careful, you can like regenerate your way <laughs> up into the water instead of staying underneath it. It's kind of like in your own little mud cave. So this is very nice. And it's like... You throw the bomb, I'm assuming, like, right in the middle. It should regenerate this entire thing with one bomb, more or less. So, quite nice. Let's see here, bright blue, that's where we just came from. So we're heading over to Alcyon now. 
let's see what we got. So we got the light lilac there. I'm kind of curious what this one looks like. Because Alcyon has like fields of gleam. And if you're in the right biome. So this one should be... Oh, well, okay. It's not terrible. I guess that's really about, you know, as you're going to try to get like a single patch in a line. That's about the best you have to hope for. Okay, so what do we have over here? Okay, so we got uh, Sulfur, Cobalt, and Ash. So, very nice. Yeah, I never really thought to harvest a block just to get Cobalt or Sulfur. It's not something I normally use that often, but uh, very nice. Got the, it's kind of the, ooh, we even got two of them. Kind of got these standard chunks. I'm assuming this is based off of the range of the regeneration bombs. So, quite nice. I suppose, yeah, if you just really wanted to, you could come out here in the wild, but the, the great thing about this is that, you know, it's all enclosed, so you don't have to worry about things attacking you or, you know, things like that, so. <laughs> And, let's see here, oh, we came from Flynn, okay, Gallon. So this is going to be, what, the Shimmering Orb Farm, I'm guessing? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, there's two portals. Interesting. And there we go, we got the Light Tan Code Gleam portal over here. Let's pop over here and take a look at it right quick. And is it not... I guess it's oh okay so it's uh it's in the ceiling that's interesting very good so is this literally like two separate uh growth farms that's actually really nice so if like one is being used uh you could just pop over to the other one Ooh, yeah look at this so we got some pretty decent stretches though, like I would probably maybe use this one right here and just kind of blow through this and then maybe regenerate it. Got a decent kind of patch over here. Yeah, I'd probably favor this one, so I just kind of go for speed over like efficiency of using the bombs essentially, so let's see what the other one is like. Actually, make sure that this is fully regenerated. Okay, looks like it is. Very nice. And then farm number two. Okay, so this one you need a minimum of 5,400 damage for this block. Ooh, okay. So, I mean, the other one pretty decent but take a look at this go ahead and throw some bombs and make sure that yeah so you could get basically you know two the, or one and a half to two full sweeps so maybe kind of like do this line then come back do something about like this so this is a really good one, I have to say. <laughs> Quite nice. And then, let's see here. Uh, okay, so Melorial like Crib. Don't remember what's on this one. Is it like gravel or something? Oh, I guess we got sand, so oil vine and cobalt. And we've got the stale moss. We can take a quick peek at this. It's actually a pretty nice color. I mean, it's a little bit... Whoa. Okay. I mean, this is... Yeah. Holy crap. So, this is a really <laughs> easy color to get. I didn't quite realize that it's this plentiful on this planet. That's kind of crazy. So, I'm... Yeah, seen. Oh, it's probably just in like a one block kind of, yeah, sheet. So it's not like 
that's a solid, you know, bed of it, so to speak. Let's check out this sand farm. I might have to come here, because this is a pretty nice color of sand, not to mention, you know, for building, but also for just general use of the resources. <laughs> you got like a stray piece of a, a tree or something right there. Then what? Uh, oh, we still have Hochis, which I think is, um, I think the sign said Gleam only. So yeah, we got uh, White Gleam over here. Kind of wondering how easy is... Okay, that's not terrible. Yeah, that's actually pretty good compared to some of the ones <laughs> that you end up having to farm. And then finally we got Norkina, which... Okay, yeah, I think it was uh, juicy starberries. Oh yeah, and corruption too. Yeah, we got the leaf farm right there with the juicy leaves. Oh yeah, fibrous leaves and inky leaves. And I think they were saying, because I was a little bit surprised, like, oh, you can farm inky leaves by just chopping foliage or leaf blocks. And uh, I think he said like 45 minutes you can get 900 to a thousand or something like that. I, I could be wrong on that. So, I mean, I didn't write any of this stuff down, so <laughs> could be uh, completely wrong. Of course, we have shadow orbs and corruption right here. I don't know. I'd almost think it would be easier just to get the the dripping fungus for shadow orbs, but certainly if you're after corruption, it's kind of a happy bonus to get shadow orbs as well. But uh, I've certainly never put it to the test. Oh, nice. So we got like two... Is that like two trees? No, that's like three trees of corruption. And there's even like some Tangle mixed in there, which I think Tangle gives you, what, vital orbs? Or I could be wrong on that. I think it does, though, because it's like thorns and Tangle that gives you vital orbs. Not that you would ever really need to farm Tangle for vital orbs, but... Uh, Get a character with lots of control and an AoE, I guess, what would it be? Shovel for corruption? I think it's I think it's a shovel. I could be wrong on that, but... Very nice. And we need 5,400 damage to be able to one-shot this stuff. And then the end. So, <laughs> oh, I love how this mine is stuff is like... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I might have to like incorporate that somewhere because that is just really nice. It's, you know, it's a nice tangle of vines, basically. Okay, and in hindsight, I mean, look at each one of these biodomes. So <laughs> I kind of realized I kind of rushed through without really giving each one a good look. I'm particularly impressed with this one right here. It's like we got the the portal frame for this leaf farm, but it's like this tree that's fallen over and then it transitions into the corruption portal that leads you to, you know, corrupted trees to farm for corruption. And it's like... Kind of crazy. I mean, I already talked about uh, these amazing vines right here, but it's just easy to forget that all of this was built from, you know, by hand from scratch. Uh, it's not like they just kind of took some of the natural environment and kind of incorporated it into a build. This is all uh, from scratch. I mean, this is like in, yeah, where, take a look at where this is. This is like floating, or not really, I guess floating, but up in this mountain. But, uh, and yet they still took the time to build these amazing trees, uh, put all these surface resources for decoration, all this different color of grass, and yeah, and to make it all work. Just, uh, very impressive, or at least I think so. Got these amazing kind of gleam formations right here. Kind of a little sand dune. <laughs> very nice. Okay, so this was the Regen Consortium Farming Network, very well put together, and I just have to say this first hub right here is just amazing with this kind of dilapidated uh, factory that's being reclaimed by nature, and yeah, it's like 
I didn't even realize this at first, but if you notice all these trees with the green leaves, those are actually handmade. The ones with yellow leaves, those are natural, but uh, just the the sheer fact that the it, like the factory just seamlessly is incorporated with the, both the natural environment and then is put together with even some additional kind of built trees and the, the fountain is just really nicely done. So like I already mentioned, this was a collaborative adventure for the Regen Consortium Guild. Uh, most of this masterful building was done by Peekaboo. However, other contributors include uh, Soul Drop, Ether, Echoes, Sophie, Blue Dragonfly, Daydreamer, Archeon, Rob Zaduch, I hope I'm saying that right. Dreezy in Uncoming Store, aka Sanjuni32. It's a pretty amazing project, three months in the making, and uh, they've even mentioned that all of the funds or footfall that's actually generated by this network goes into the request baskets for the Ort Stone required to keep it running. They're not in this to make a profit or line their own pockets. They're doing this not only for the convenience of themselves to be able to farm, but as a community service to, well, the community. So uh, certainly very noble aspirations and uh, quite impressed. But anyway, I think that concludes this video. This was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel, want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace.